Hi, I'm Heidi Copeland, a Family and Consumer Sciences Extension Agent with the University of Florida, IFAS Extension. Oftentimes during the holidays, Extension Agents are asked questions about baking. I'm here to show you a very simple baking method called the Muffin Method of Mixing. With the Muffin Method of Mixing, all the dry ingredients are put into a bowl and combined. In this bowl, I have flour, I have sugar, I have spices, and I have leavening. Leavening is the ingredient that helps um, a baked product rise. So I'm doing, I'm using a wire whisk and I am just quickly whisking the ingredients until they are well combined. In this again, I have flour, sugar, brown sugar, spices, salt, and leavening. All right, so with the muffin method, method of mixing, you put a little bit of a, a well or a hole in the center of your bowl, and to that, you add your wet ingredients. And again, the wet ingredients are just thoroughly combined. I am mixing them with a the wire whisk in this container. I have oil. I have eggs, I have a splash of vanilla, and a can of pumpkin. So my wet ingredients, let me get my little spoon rest here. My wet ingredients are poured into my dry ingredients and they are cleaning out my container with a spatula and the wet ingredients can be combined using the wire whisk, or I'm using a spatula. And what I'm doing is I'm just combining these ingredients until they're wet. So the muffin method of mixing is a very convenient um, way to mix a batter for something like a, a bread. This is going to be a pumpkin bread. It doesn't really require any special equipment. It requires your standard measuring equipment and it requires um, a couple different bowls to mix your ingredients. In another video, we spoke about the size of pans and how when you're baking, it's really important to know about the size of your pan because that affects your baking time and it affects the quality of the baked product. So you can see how this is very quickly combined. Um, there's no flour evident. Even if there was like a little piece like that, it's not gonna matter because this is so wet, it will incorporate it in baking. This is a non-standard size pan. This is a, po um, a bread pan and this is 10 inch. Most bread pans are nine inches. So what I know from experience, that this makes a really great loaf in this pan and that I will fill it two thirds full. And I know that that's a great temperature for baking. I also like to use parchment paper instead of um, a spray or butter because it, the, the product comes out so easy. So I just put the parchment paper in there and I will fill this two thirds full. And again, it's kind of subjective it's a guess. Um, you can be very accurate if you measure. And as we mentioned recently, you can go online and a lot of companies have, um, they have tables out there that show you um, how many cups of batter fit into each of their pans. And so again, if you have a favorite pan look at the bottom of the pan for the brand, and most brands will have that out there, um, how many cups will, of batter will fit into the pan. I also know that there's going to be a little bit extra, and so I'm going to bake the extra in, in a muffin size kind of uh, pan. And the muffin is the same, same thing. You fill the batter two thirds full, trying to be, you know, as accurate as you can. Um, and these will bake 
for a fraction of the time as the full loaf. The full loaf will take over an hour to bake, about an hour and 10 minutes, whereas these little muffins will bake in under 30 minutes. And again, you can see this, that size does matter when we're looking at the length of time it takes to bake a product. Um, all right, so I can get one more out of here. Um, and this is a 12 inch, a 12 compartment muffin tin. And again, this is just a little bit of leftover batter. I've done this enough to know that this will be, um, I just, before I have to cut the, the loaf, I have a few muffins to enjoy. And so we know it's fall when people are starting to make pumpkin products. Um, enjoy.